Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, all of that juicy goodness. We are here for a quick card pull. I felt guided to pull some cards for whoever needs to hear this message. I'm going to call in my guides, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. And we're going to see what messages they have for us today. This is Palo Santo. And I just said that a little funny, Palo Santo. <laughs> All right, my man, Mike, my man, Meta, bring us the messages that we need to hear today. Only allow the highest and widest light to come through. Open up my viewers' eyes, hearts, and ears to every single word. Allow them to integrate it deep into their heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit of heart action. <laughs> All right, let's see what our angels have for us today. Um, let's do some spirit animal wisdom. All right. Ooh. Divine timing. Good things come to those who wait. So I feel like this energy that gets darkest before dawn, right when you think everything's about to end, it's like the most perfect timing ever. Everything starts to unfold so last minute, so perfectly. So sit tight. Everything is happening in divine timing. Trust it and be a badass tiger in the meantime. <laughs> All right, let's see what other, what other message needs to come through with that. What do we need? Why are we being called to ask for surrendering to divine, time, divine timing? All right, we got two. Let's see. We have the eagle, which is healing, starfish, intuition. Okay, listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Really feel into this divine timing. Know that you're being led. Don't try to control it. Don't try to manipulate it. Don't make a decision too soon. If you don't know what to do, we rest and we wait. We wait for that divine timing. So follow your intuition. If you've had a good feeling about something, stick to that. And then we have the eagle, yep, ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. <laughs> I've been working with one client and um, with her and her family, and she keeps sending me an eagle in all of her texts. So I feel like this is a little nudge for me, but I love this. Ancestral healing, your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. So if you feel like you're going through a deep healing, um, really think about where did you learn these beliefs that you're trying to unlearn? Is, did you inherit it from your mom, from your dad, from your grandparents, from a long lineage? I know I'm healing um, a jealousy, a, a vibration of jealousy, being in partnership and never really trusting your partner. This goes on for you know, the divine feminine in my family. It goes on and on and on. Each mom, grandmother, they all had this little bit of I don't trust my partner and they've passed it on to us and I'm going to be the one to break it, <laughs> but I'm going through that. The fear of abandonment, someone leaving, someone going and cheating and being jealous and thinking that someone's always going to pick somebody else over me. And it's like, we villainize these other women and make them bad when they're really not. <laughs> it's all a story in our head and we have to unlearn that. So I know for me, the Eagle is a sign that I'm healing what I need to heal. What is it that you need to heal? What are some things that make your body completely go into panic mode and you're like, oh, I don't ever want to feel that again. You're not going to be able to avoid that for the rest of your life. You're going to be brought situations where you're going to have to heal that. So what is it? And let's get to the root of it. And speaking of the root of it, I just completed a fear course. Some of you guys might've already seen my latest video. Um, I did like a quick one minute video about it, but it was so profound. And I'm going to leave the link below. It's for free. It's donation based, but um, you create an account. You log in, Ben and Joe have created such a beautiful platform. You, it's self-paced. You can watch it whenever you want and you just go through and watch each video in order and it educates you about the roots of your fear and maybe why you're single, maybe why you're not attracting money, maybe why you're not quitting your job and, and taking that leap of faith. Maybe the phrase leap of faith scares the shit out of you. <laughs> well, this program will help you see that it's not that scary. It's actually the best thing for you. That's where your freedom lies. It's just on the other side. You just have to take one little baby step, but your mind and your fear that lives in your body that if you think about that jealousy feeling, 
that's a fear. That is a fear of me being abandoned or me feeling a fear of loving somebody and being intimate with somebody, fearing that they're going to go cheat on me or they're going to love somebody else more. It's like a competition thing. So that is something that I got to the root of because of this program. So that is now freeing me from ever feeling that way ever again. So I, now I know when I feel that I can step through it and say, it's okay, Michelle, you, you have this lineage of, <laughs> of toxicity around jealousy. It's okay. You can walk through it and see that it's just a deep desire to be loved behind every fear is a desire. That's what I learned from Ben Harris. Who's one of the, he's the co-creator of the program, him and Joe Hawley. So go check out that program donate. We all deserve to be um, honored for our services. So click the link below, go watch those videos. It will transform your life. It totally transformed mine. I'm actually hosting a Zoom on Sunday night with a big group of all of my clients, and I'm going to walk them through the course and show them how I did it and all the different fears that surfaced while I was doing it. So I highly recommend. And if you want to join, there's a Telegram group too um, that you can join with Ben, with Joe, with me, and all of my clients, we're all going to like shoot the shit on there and talk about it. So, and see how we're doing. Um, so if you feel called join our tribe and face your fears, let's be fearless together. Okay. Let's do some, we're going to do all animals. I'm feeling all animals today. And this is going to be quick. I'm not going to be on here too long. Wow. A boon or a treasure is on the way. The owl sees through the darkness. It knows no fear. It is not afraid of anything. It knows that the, that treasure is just on the other side of that darkness. As you're coming through, it's darkest before dawn. You know something is being birthed through this, this tough process, this squeeze, whatever is, is challenging you. I'm hearing something is challenging you right now. And the owl is your guide. It's flying above you and it can see. It's sitting there patiently in the night and it's seeing everything that's going to happen in the next few weeks. And you're completely taken care of the divine timing. It's all going to happen perfectly. Don't panic. You will get that opportunity. You will find that new house. You will sell that old house. You will get that money. Um, you'll break up with that partner. That's toxic. It will all happen for you. Just keep listening to that intuition and know that this is part of your healing. You are healing something in this process. You're healing a deep rooted fear that's been lying in the dark this whole time. Okay, and we're gonna finish with two other animal cards. From the Spirit Animal Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed If any of you guys are ever interested in the decks that I use, you can just comment below and I will respond and let you know where I got them. All right, I'm being told to cut the deck twice. Oh, this one popped up. <laughs> we got the owl. You see clearly now. And the stag, take the lead. Yes, this is divine masculine energy. The stag represents the divine masculine, taking the lead, taking action, giving, um, really making things happen. It's like a divine masculine is coming in, swooping in to save the day. And it's number 58, which adds up to 13. So I don't know if 13 means anything to anybody. That's my daughter's birthday. So it means a lot to me. You see clearly now, 43 adds up to seven. So we have two owls, you guys. Who has been seeing owls lately? If this is your sign, you are, spirit is talking to you right now. If you've been seeing owls lately. All right, maybe the divine, since the divine masculine came out, now I'm going to kind of relook at this. And you know what's funny? The tiger represents the divine feminine. So we have divine masculine and divine feminine. They're going through a healing, they're releasing their egos, they are um, shedding this ancestral toxicity that's been in their, in their system, in their DNA, I guess you can say, is what I just got. And once they shed that, they can see clearly now and they can trust their intuition. They know spirit is leading them. All right, I feel like I wanna do one more card. Yeah, 
Let's do one more card. We'll do my deck, the ever unfolding heart. Okay, shine bright. Do not let others influence your decisions. They don't live in your body. Okay, so this is, if you need to make a decision, maybe you're gonna take a leap of faith. Maybe you're gonna break up with somebody. Maybe you're going to quit a job and go somewhere else. You need to tune into your intuition and listen to what your heart is telling you to do. You can do this. And if you have some fears around why you're not doing it, do that course. It will break through all barriers that are stopping you from listening to what you want to do. And you can stop trying to please everybody else. Life is now. It, it, we, we are not meant to suffer. And when we are staying in our comfort zone, we're actually suffering more than we would if we were step into the unknown. Our mind thinks the unknown is scary. If you break up with that person, you don't know how you're going to like where you're going to live, where, you know, say you're splitting the bills and you're like, I can't survive on my, on my own. Maybe you can, maybe it's going to be way better on your own, but your mind is keeping you stuck in that box because it thinks it's going to be more painful in the unknown, but it's actually more painful to stay where you are. And your fear is trying to protect you. So it's keeping you there, but it's actually more painful there. And you'll start to get physical symptoms. You'll start to not feel good. So listen to what your body is telling you. Take the fear course, lean on me. If you need help, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do intuitive readings with people. I guide them through these transitions in their lives. So you don't have to do it alone, but listen to what you want. No more listening to what other people are trying to tell you, especially in a divine connection. You know, people, two people might be destined to be together and it might not make sense to anybody else but these two love each other and one might need to leave a relationship. They both might need to leave a relationship. One might need to move. I have two clients who live in different countries from their person and they're, they're risking and they're taking this leap of faith to go leave where they've been their whole lives to go be with their person. It's beautiful, but you can do it too. And like I said, like they're going to take this fear course and they're going to feel so empowered knowing that their freedom that they're wanting to feel in their life with their partner is right on the other side of that little transition, that move. And worst case scenario, they move and maybe it's not what they thought it was. They can move back, but they'll never know unless they try. So I'm sending so much love out there to whoever is resonating with this message. Your desires are on the way. We can see clearly now, just hold the line darkest before dawn and be ready to make good decisions, big decisions, step through your fear and know that your freedom is out there. You're going to feel good. Your suffering is going to end. Trust me. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.